Hey everyone, it's Jenny Garcia and this is a process video using one of my DIY Project Life kits. This kit is uh, inspired by the Imagine Dad 6x6 paper pad by Echo Park. And the first card that I grabbed was that one with the cactus. And then I felt like I wanted to use all these straight edge cards. To, so that's what I grabbed first. And I have a mix of Ellie Studios, Studio Calico, Printables, Freckle Fawn, um, even maybe a few of Fancy Pants Designs. The purpose of this kit is to use my stash because I have so many things that if I don't put them out, I forget about them and I don't use them. So that is what I did it. And I have a bunch of photos that are smaller than 3 by 4 so that's what I'm using a bunch of papers from the Imagine Dad 6x6 paper pad and off camera you can't see it because it's quite big I have my guillotine which I love better than any other trimmer it's big and clunky and kinda sucks when you don't have the space but I it's just the paper cuts great uh, it self files so it's always sharp and this is a, a spread from almost a year ago. I'm trying to get through the gaps of 2008 before I work on 2009. I haven't been in a project life mood lately. It's been really hard and actually this uh, spread was kind of uh, quite hard for me. And it also has an uh, insert in the middle where I put a bunch of photos that my daughter that my daughter took on her camera so I went through her camera and tried to grab all the photos that I thought were really cute especially the ones taken recently so I feel that I should have stretched with a smaller spread but I did it and even though it was quite hard I'm happy with it it has a bunch of colors a lot of elements so I'm gonna try to keep the embellishment to a minimum then and if you know me you know that that's quite hard for me the insert has three by three photos and this is um, it's a page protector from Studio Caligo and I used to have the ones from October afternoon but of course October afternoon is not around anymore which is a shame they're Page protectors were really, really good. And I'm just going to cut a bunch of papers. I love the patterns in some of these cards, so I'm not going to put embellishments on some of them. And as you can see, she just took photos of the TV, toys, her sister, things like that. And I have my kits in these little bags that you can get on Amazon. I actually keep my Pretty Little Studio items in bigger bags than this. And this is my title card. I'm going to keep it really simple because I really like that design and I didn't want to do too much to it. These flags are from an old collection from Pretty Little Studio Dream Big. You can still get them. It's on their shop. And the alphas I'm going to use are from Studio Calico. And I messed up the stamping here. I put 2019 because last time I used this stamp, I was doing one of my Disney layouts and I stamp, of course, 2019. I didn't change it. I'm going to realize it later and just use a, a corrector from Tumbo. It's called the White Track 
and it's just gonna erase it and I'm gonna stamp all over it so it's not that bad I'm gonna use quite a few of these holo hearts and I made them with my lawn fawn dye and some material I got from eBay it's a sheet I believe is um, 8 by 11 maybe a little bit more and you do have to run it through the big shot a few times but I don't mind I like how it, they turn out <clears throat> for every kit I have a few washi tapes and I put them in my Rhino washi holder so that's what I'm using to cut my washi and the little word stickers are from Simple Stories. And this week I got new glasses and I'm gonna keep the little card that came with them. I didn't want to glue in the whole back because it had some information. I like how that green contrasts with the card. There's also a little bit of green in the paper pad of Imagine Dad, that is why I have so many green elements. They really pop against all the pink too. And I'm just gonna write new glasses and both of these alphas are older. They are from the Snap Collection from Simple Stories. And in my kit, in all the kits I added, wood veneers, I have so many and I have a difficult time using them. So it's one of those things that I want to keep around so I get the chance of using them. And one of the things that helped me use them is the fact that I realized that I could color them with Posca markers, which are these paint pens, and I'm going to have them linked below. And they match a lot better and it's just a little bit more pleasing. I almost colored the cloud white, but I kind of like the little detail that it had. And this is me fixing the mistake I made previously. I covered, I only left the year uncovered and then I used washi tape to cover the other sides of the dates because I didn't want to ghost or stamp anything um, on top of that. This is another one of those photos that are obviously from, um, my goodness, what's it called? From the stories on Instagram. So they are a lot thinner than 3x4. And sometimes I can fix them to be 3x4, but I would cut a lot and the photo wouldn't look, wouldn't look good. So I just decided to put it on a piece of paper. I use more little word stickers from Simple Stories. And I think the whole month of May and maybe February, we watched Coco so many times. And uh, there is in the extras a little tutorial on how to draw skeletons that my daughters follow. So I also added some of their drawings too. That movie is so pretty. I cried a lot when I watch it. That's how I know it's good. <laughs> But I, I really like it and it's a great movie. And this is a uh, Facebook status that I screenshot and printed. And it's about my daughter hoping for a snow day but it's a regular day and she was crying like she lost someone very dear. Which she did. She missed a day at home which she loves. So. And here I'm going to color the cloud white, the little hard pink, and the drops in blue. And my daughter had a report on class about the bottlenose dolphin, and she got a few um, cards of feedback and things they found interesting about the bottlenose dolphin so I kept it one of them is for from her teacher one had a drawing so instead of gluing them down I put a paper clip which I kept in place with a washi tape and then I just stuck them inside and I wanted to write dolphin but I wasn't sure 
and then I'm, I'm gonna end up putting a label and a word but I kind of regret it I wish I wrote dolphin or something but I thought that like yes dolphin and sometimes I think about these things way too much which is why I am so slow but hopefully with this yeah white kids and starting this layout I'll be a little bit more motivated to work on my project life I don't know why it has been so hard lately but hopefully I'll get over it and I want to use my journaling cards for other things than journaling so I use that circle like as a little embellishment and I'm gonna put little hearts around it and that card I believe is from Ali Studio they have really good sales so if you're looking to get extra embellishments or mini kits or cards wait around for their uh, Black Friday sales they have really really good sales really good kits and bundles so get that one really simple and I wasn't totally loving it but hey and this week was my niece's prom so I had to include a few pictures of her in the dress and normally her hair is really curly so I also wanted to add this photo where she straightened her hair and I just wrote prom I kept it super simple which I had to battle because I knew that it was already so many colors and I could add more to it but I stopped myself and I'm using the Tombow Mono Adhesive Plus it's my favorite for crafting it's really strong though so you know that once you put something down it's gonna be difficult to take out but I really like it especially for cards because you don't want to give someone a card they have to put together and here I'm just gonna keep a heart I also have these leathery scale hearts that go with the whole mermaid theme and they are shiny too they're not holographic like the other ones but they do have like a shimmer and I wanted to add a label where I pointed out that the photos in that insert were mostly most of them are my daughters she also took photos of her games and things like that she also got a really good photo of my youngest kid like she has the cutest smile in that photo so I'm just looking for something a little extra to add on the top and I didn't want to add too much because on the background there are a lot of um, fairy wands so I didn't want to cover them but I didn't want to leave it empty so I use another one of the hearts and a little word sticker which is that combo of washi little word sticker and little heart never fails me so that's where I go when I have no idea what to do or I don't want to do too much and I think I'm gonna do the same on this one this photo I took I got them those books on International Women's Day and they these books are amazing they're so gorgeous they have 100 stories per book and I bought a bundle that also came with a map so it was great and this is a photo that my daughter took of my youngest and I thought it was a great photo and this is a screenshot of a weather app I think it's called whatsapp and it has like very snarky comments about the weather so I'm just gonna stamp a little with my brilliance white ink and I love this ink it drives really fast um, it stamps really well I really like it 
I'm just gonna put like a little surprise face and either crazy or weird because I know it says the mother nature has been a weirdo I'm gonna put crazy because that week we had snow but then there was one day where it was beautiful enough to go outside without a jacket so which is exactly what we're going through right now I don't know why she took a photo of that clock but that clock broke so <laughs> It's a good thing maybe that I had a photo. And I made the mistake of erasing. Whenever I use a stamp for the first time, I use an eraser to prep it, but I use a black eraser. And it got like a little thing that you can't see but bothered me. So I'm gonna re-stamp it on a label, and I'm kinda gonna cut that label and put it on top of what I stamped. super simple but I like I'm glad I ruined it because I really like the label better and she took a picture of one of her cutie cars and on, sto on top I'm gonna stamp the little things which I'm bummed that you can't see in the video because in person it looks really really nice And on top you can see my chamois, which is from Lawn Fawn, and it's a little rag that you you put it in water, then you like squeeze the water out, I forgot <laughs> the word people use for that, and uh, you clean your stamps with that, and it's my favorite thing ever. It's great, easy to use. You don't get like little fibers like when you use uh, baby wipes. And I I got the idea from one of my viewers to put it in one of those 4x6 iris cases for photos. And it's great, just don't close it until it's dry because it otherwise it gets really smelly. But you can use over and over again and it's the greatest. I have had mine for a few years and Yes, they get dirty, but it doesn't matter. And here I'm just gonna write stop it because this is the point when it's almost April and you don't wanna see snow anymore. And I love how the green pops against that dark wood. And I, I'm not a fan of using my journaling cards that are they have lines to act, to use them for other things that is not journaling. But it framed this photo so well. This photo, I printed with my Instax, and I love my Instax. It's not perfect if you're looking for really sharp image details and stuff like that. No, it's not that great. But it's it has a nice detail looks a little vintagey and I especially like it for photos that are not good anyways and here I'm just gonna add that little butterfly which I'm gonna color with my postcard markers you can also use the Tombow Jewel brush pens to color wood veneers but you have to be careful because sometimes they could fray since it's wood and it will look more like a stain than covering it to make it shiny and this stamp I'm using is from Alt New and I'm going to use against the bright, the white brilliance ink which looks really awesome against the gray floors And I had such an issue, issue with that metal embellishment because it has like a glue dot that melted into the bag until the pack oh. it melted onto the packaging so I had to like clean it a little bit and then I used the Tomboy Extreme Adhesive which is the glue that I recommend whenever you want to glue 
metal, plastic, even wood veneers. And I was considering filling that heart with some sequins, but then I figured that some of them were too big or it would be messy or I was afraid to ruin the photo. Now I'm putting numbers on my photos so I can journal about all those things and this card and I'm gonna use a mono twin no uh tumbow twin tone marker and I like to use the fine tip it's really cool to write the journaling in the color and the tip is really thin so it looks great now I left a little space there so I can do a shaker pocket and I wanted to add things inside of it but nothing look good enough for it so I'm just gonna add this um, sequin mix I made and I actually really like how it looks just the sequin mix and I almost use the whole little bottle these little bottles you can get at Dollar Tree they're awesome if you want to share your sequin mixes or if you want to keep some in a kit I share a f um, video about sequin organizing yesterday or the day before somewhere this past week so if you're interested in learning a little bit more about sequins check out that video and then I'm gonna use my fuse from We Are Memory Keepers to seal the envelope. And I just use a piece of cardstock, um, not cardstock, cardboard. And it's really simple. It has that mix has a lot of super tiny pieces, and this is the whole thing. I'm gonna start with the insert. And I included a note that my daughter made me so you see you don't have to take pictures of yourself and your family every week you can take pictures of the books they're reading the toys they're using notes they leave you things they do at school games they're playing what you ate or they ate um, things you got in the mail so you should always take those kind of photos that way if you have a little gap in your project life and you need something for that week you can add something and I think toys are an important thing to document because shopkins are not a thing as they used to be a year ago now it's the creepy dolls with the dying heads and bodies lols they are awful they're horrible I don't know why people like them but they're a thing so I also like to keep the little checklists that come with those kind of toys so I hope you enjoyed this video if you like it give it a thumbs up stay tuned for more project life videos I also gonna share some scrapbooking layouts from my Disney album and I'm also gonna share pocket pages from that album too because most of that album is uh, scrapbook layouts and pocket pages so stay tuned for that thank you so much for watching have an awesome day bye